Uh, you mentioned in your remarks that uh, we're headed for a $20 trillion deficit and how much uh, we're piling up in debt. And the biggest thing on the plate in Washington right now is making that even bigger by giving tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires. not to vote for a tax cut if it increases the deficit. <laughs> the goal of the tax cut is to energize the economy. Our top corporate rate is discouraging companies from coming here. The effective tax rate is more like 20. Discouraging people from coming back. The marginal rate is 35%. What's the effective I rate? You follow me. Been critical of the Ways and Means Committee tax cut that was kind of circulated because I don't think it was strong enough for the middle class. And I'm very conscious of that. I think right now the tax code currently um, has provisions in it which, which disproportionately help with what you refer to as the rich. I also think the tax code is very generous to people who might not be working as hard as they could. And I think oh, it's true. That's true. <laughs> in a lot of ways, the yeah. things are, 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 can be set up to benefit the ultra rich, and we can be generous with people who aren't working that hard, but the middle class guy does not get as good enough a deal as he should. Now, the Trump proposal out there does not have a lot of the details filled in, so I can't really comment uh, in particular on everything, but I can assure you, I used to do taxes. My goal, when eventually we are called to vote upon a, a change in the tax law, is to make sure that the average guy is protected. And I do sometimes feel, looking at Washington, that there are people there ready to look out for what I'll call the really rich. And politicians like to look out for people who they would describe as poor. And the middle class guy uh, does not get a fair deal. And that is where I'm going to weigh in, among other ways, when the details in this tax cut come out. Because I do want to look out for the, you know, whatever, however you describe the average guy. We all have different definitions about what that is. But I do think. Uh, they have not done as well as they should in America in the last 20 years, and I'll look out for them. What about the um, 